Hi there guys, <clears throat> today I want to look at this uh, ceramic heat and fan. Now this is a 12 volt fan heater basically and the reason why I got this is because uh, it's coming up to winter now and where, how far I have to travel to work it takes me literally five minutes from my house to where I work. So by the time I've pulled up on the car park the engine's only just got, about got warm so I thought well, I'll, I'll buy one of these, it costs 11 98 I think off eBay. Comes with uh, some fixing screws. And what interests me the most is this ceramic heat. Now, what does that mean? I don't, I'm not sure. I mean, it can't be the conductive element because ceramic doesn't conduct electricity very well. So, anyway, I've got it connected to a small 12 volt battery and it's rather noisy. And if I quickly switch it over to the fan and heater, because this is just in fan mode at the moment. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a slight time difference. That's because of the, uh, the voltage drop. Now it's rated at 150 watts at 12 volts. It does state in the instructions that it works best if the engine's running, so then it's going to be running, operating about 14.2 volts, or depending on your alternator. But, uh, my, my car's about 14.2 uh, volts when the, uh, the engine's running. 150 watt at 12 volts is about 12 and a half amp. It's got a 16 American wire gauge cable on it. It's also got the cross sectional area 11.31 square millimetres, so 10 millimetre squares handles about 10 amps. Uh, 50, uh, sorry, not 10. 1 millimetre square handles about 10 amps, and uh, 1.5 millimetre square can handle about 16 amps, so it's probably okay to handle the uh, 12 and a half amps. But two meters of cable you get, there is going to be quite a bit of voltage drop across that cable. So, that clips off like that. Without breaking it. That's that off. Alright, so let's take a look inside. Find a screwdriver that will fit. Doesn't fit very well. That's better. That's got it. And we're in. A little screws dropping out. I'm gonna lose them. Basically inside we have a small 12 volt motor, very small. This still is this still is plugged in, but it's only 12 volts, so Operating. The power comes in, cable loops around to this switch. Not sure they've uh, connected that in. Screw. So we've got the resume that's positive. So it goes to the centre of that slide switch, so it's in that disposition comes along and activates fan motor when it's in that position it sends power through this red wire to this uh, heating element now it doesn't look like I can get that out without de causing any damage because it's got them um, uh, forget the process basically they just put the plastic onto hot pillars and just use like a soldering iron or another hot element just to press that down so I don't really want to uh, take that out without any damage although so oh no it does come out that then what does that hold in? Oh, it just looks like it's uh, to direct the airflow. And from what I can make out, I 
Right, what it looks like is those fins there look like they are the actual heating elements and you've got a strip across the top connected to the one side, strip across the bottom and they're seriesed up well, I don't know what this, the ceramic means but yeah Hmm, interesting. Okay, there we have it. I will put a link of the product description. Well, I'll put it. I'll put a link to the eBay listing, and you've guessed it. The description below. I did, this was bought from a UK site, so if you live in another country, it's uh, the key word to use is 12 volt ceramic fan heater. So you probably have to pick up a very similar item. It, I have used it in the car, it does work, it, it does chuck out some heat. <laughs> it does help to de, uh, defrost the windscreen, you know, while the engine's running, you, you switch it on and point it at the windscreen, and uh, it does defrost it. So, yeah, so I think when I install it, I'm probably not going to bother using the uh, cigarette lighter connector because when you've got 12 and a half amps on a small area like that it's going to get quite hot so I think it's better if it's hardwired in on something like a 15 amp fuse but yeah 